A multidisciplinary research team led by the Archaeometry Research Group of the University of Tübingen and the GA Research Group of the University of Granada made a surprising discovery in the megalithic necropolis of Panoria, Granada, Spain twice as many women as men were buried, a bias that is even more pronounced among the juvenile population, where the ratio is 10 females for every male. The necropolis of Panoria is located at the easternmost end of Sierra Harana, in the town of Daro, Granada. It consists of at least 19 graves, nine of which have been excavated between 2015 and 2019. They are collective burials from which more than 55,000 human skeletal remains were recovered. The dating of these remains shows that the first burials took place 5,600 years ago with a discontinuous funerary use until 4,100 years ago. In a recent study published in the journal Scientific Reports, the use of new bioarchaeological methods has allowed the identification of chromosomal sex from the study of DNA and the analysis of a protein known as amylogenin present in the tooth enamel. In this way, it has been possible, for the first time, to obtain a precise demographic profile of the biological sex of the people who were buried in these megalithic monuments. Surprisingly, the result is a clear bias in favor of female burials, twice that of male burials, a bias that is even more pronounced among juvenile individuals with a ratio of 10 females for every male individual. This ratio is far from the usual composition of human populations, which is approximately one to one. Only in exceptional circumstances, example conflicts, wars or intense migration processes, does this ratio break down in favor of one of the sexes. What circumstances could have led to such a pronounced bias in the population buried at Panoria? The bias in favor of female burials appears in all the analyzed graves, in all age groups and throughout the time of use of the necropolis. This allows the researchers to confirm that this was a very persistent and determining social decision over time affecting the different social groups buried within the graves. Therefore, extraordinary or unpredictable events can be ruled out as the cause of the bias found in Panoria. If sex bias was a social decision, what are the reasons for this overrepresentation of women in funerary rituals? Considering that biological kinship relations are the main criterion to be buried in the different structures, the overrepresentation of female individuals could indicate funerary practices based primarily on matrilineal descent. This means that family relationships and social belonging are established through the maternal line. This would explain the bias in favor of women and the absence of young male individuals who could have joined other kin groups, a common practice known in anthropology as male exogamy. In any case, the overrepresentation of women would indicate a female centered social structure in which gender would have influenced funerary rituals and cultural traditions.